everyone. My name is Dr. Vandana Ramanathan. I'm a fertility specialist with Garbhaguri IVF Center, Marathali branch. So today I'm going to be discussing with you about the difference between IUI and IVF. So before we get into that, let us understand what is IUI and what is IVF. So the full form of IUI is intrauterine insemination and the full form of IVF is in vitro fertilization. Now both of these are usually uh, parts of artificial reproductive technology but they are very different in terms of uh, the indications and the procedure as well. So first and foremost coming to IUI, now in which couples do we recommend IUI? So we usually recommend IUI in couples uh, who are uh, younger, usually the husband and wife of a younger age. Second is that in IUI the lady has to have both her fallopian tubes open. Third is better that the lady has uh, you know good ovarian reserve and the male has normal or near normal semen parameters. So these are the couples that are ideal for an IUI procedure and the shorter the period of infertility is the better the outcome of IUI is. So what do we do in IUI? In IUI we uh, usually uh, need only one, two or maximum three follicles that is three eggs to grow. More than that we usually don't recommend to uh, proceed with IUI. So because we don't want all the follicles to grow, we want only one, two or three to grow. We uh, start the lady on medications, most often than not, not they are oral medications. And uh, during the course of these medica medications, we do something called as follicular monitoring scans to see how many follicles are growing and how well they are growing. And once the follicle is of good size, we give something called as a trigger shot. That is a trigger injection for ovulation. And post that, uh, ovulation is usually expected somewhere around 36 hours after the trigger shot. And at the time of ovulation, once we have documented ovulation, we ask the male partner to give a fresh semen sample. This sample is processed and washed. And on the day of ovulation, this processed semen sample is uh, instilled into the lady's uterine cavity using a very thin catheter called as an IUI catheter. It's an absolutely painless procedure and it is an OPT procedure and it does not require anesthesia. Uh, once the IUI procedure is done, uh, after a period of two weeks, uh, we do a pregnancy test to ascertain whether the lady has conceived or not. So an IUI procedure, if you see, is uh, a very simple procedure. There are not much of uh, medications or injections or even for that matter follow-ups are limited. Now coming to the IVF procedure, now IVF is completely different from IUI. What are the common indications for IVF? First and foremost for IVF, if the lady has both fallopian tubes blocked, it is one of the most you know common indications for uh, you know proceeding with IVF. Second is if uh, the couple is uh, of older age, say the lady is uh, 35 and above, then we prefer IVF because with age the egg numbers and egg qualities are definitely lesser than in a younger couple. Third is. Uh, you know, couples who have a male factor where the semen parameters are not very good, where the count is very poor or the motility is poor, morphology is poor. So patients with the more severe form of male factor infertility and uh, couples who have had repeated failures with simpler treatments like uh, IUI. Uh, so these are usually the couples who need to go for an IVF. So if you see the indications for both are quite different. So once we have decided uh, that the couple has to go for IVF, again the procedure itself is totally different. In IVF, the intention is that all the follicles in both the ovaries grow because we want to try and extract as many eggs as possible because the more number of eggs we get, the chances of getting better and more number of embryos is more and then you know which will also improve the success rate uh, for the couple. So uh, in IVF because we need more number of eggs what we do is that we start the stimulation uh, you know most of the times with injections rather than with oral medications and uh, the number of uh, scans required in between and the monitoring is uh, you know more strict and the patient might have to come for more frequent follow-ups during the IVF procedure. And uh, again in IVF, it's not like IUI where everything happens, most of the things happen in the body. In IVF, the eggs are extracted outside, then the sperms are collected from the uh, you know, semen uh, that is given by the male partner and the use most often than not, the egg is injected with each uh, sperm which is called as an ICSI procedure and uh, the culture of the embryos happens in the lab. And post this, the formed embryos are put into the lady's uterine cavity. 
so if you see iu and ivf are very different procedures and they have different indications so whether you would require an iui or an ivf depends on a lot of uh, factors so when you visit your fertility consultant your fertility consultant will take a detailed history uh, she will uh, probably go through all your previous uh, records uh, if any treatment you have taken in the past that will be looked into in detail and a proper workup will be done and depending on all your reports uh, and after a detailed discussion with the couple uh, the doctor will come to the conclusion whether you are a good candidate for iui or ivf so if you still have any queries regarding this you can always drop your questions in the comment box and we will be glad to answer them thank you very much